Hello, people. Welcome to another edition of the Sean's Two Cents on today's show review. Beyond Wrestling's critical acclaim. Awesome show. Awesome stuff. Some really great matches that are a stupid to see. <coughs> Sorry. This is very fast put out. It's on raw footage. You can go to bookmonofans.com. <coughs> Man, it was only this past Sunday, people. It's only been like four days. Crazy, crazy how fast. I love fast releases. It's awesome because it's time to review and avoid spoilers. Everybody should do it if they could. We'll see. I'm still waiting for AIW. We got for the Gold 9. That review will be out soon whenever that show comes up. But right now we have Beyond Wrestling's Critical Claim. This is the JT Dunn versus Chris Sherrill show, which I was excited about match, and we'll get to that match later. First, they had a secret show, which was for like 750 about the the pack, which is clearly both shows. Not really much about the secret show, I'm going to say. The open match was, I think, the best match on the card. John Silver faced Tim, Tim Thatcher. Excellent match. One of the best matches I think Tim Thatcher's done since he's gone back east. Really showcased his talent. And work of a smaller guy that really showcased how versatile he is. And just John Silver worked really good in that match. Then we had a crazy thing happen. Air Fox went heel and attacked him with a chair. And they had an interesting match. Interesting stuff. You've got to watch it. He didn't hit him with a chair. He got to get the referee. He went crazy. It was supposedly to carry over to CW storyline, which I don't get. Keep keep promotion storyline separate. I know CW and Beyond Wrestling are kind of mixed together. So some some parts again, some parts I don't. But Kimberly really saw how tough she was in this match. Then the literally retired match was pretty good. She and Ron with Brian Fury. That was the match. But Air Fox's heel commentary kind of took away from the match. So if you want to watch Secret Show, it's only seven fifty. That's a good match. There's some good tag matches in Fear Loving, then the Hoods. But that match was really took it down by the commentary really took down the match some of the matches. The the Chris Eve were changed. They just ran down the hood spirit on it took a really away from that match. So hopefully when Deborah Carter rounds the commentary it'll be a lot better. So that's an old rest of commentary. This is the only time I had a problem with it. It's mostly when, when Darius Carter and TJ Marshoni are on our commentary. It's just, I know they're trying to be healed, but it just takes away from the matches. It just takes away. So let's go to the main show. Critical acclaim, vet music, Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island. We have the NYWC showcase, the place where Trent Beretta, Zach Ryder, all of all come from. We have Stockade, Francis Kip Stevens was like a nerd. Great gimmick. I love what he did. Hurricane Ryan and stuff really impressed me. I saw him before Wrestle once, I think, for Chicago uh, a couple years ago. They had Jesse Vane, Ryder. All guys are good. Good four way. About 10 minutes. Stockade gets the win. The big dude. Good match, good showcase. I like to showcase the young talent. That's what they do. They really did a lot of high spots. Really enjoyed this match. They made a good average chop this match. Only second match of the card. This match went 20 minutes. It was fucking amazing. Technical wrestling at its finest. These Choppa, I'm sold. I wasn't sold on before the injury, but if anybody's have done better since he got hurt, it's him. He's come back from the injury better than ever. <coughs> he went over over Gulak. It was all, wasn't about striking, it was about overhold. It was awesome submission match. Good luck out the win, but awesome match. Chompa, I give my hats off to him. I cut, give, man, awesome. Can't see Chompa this week, Friday, PWG, Mr. Vortex. And then BVZ comes out, challenge, uh, challenge Good Luck at the next show, which is CW and Vet I'm interested to see how that goes. It's not a live review, it's, it's an on demand review, so it'll be interesting how that goes. They made Jock for Zero Corpus. Good show with both guys. Very brutal match. Jockey gets the win. I really like Eric Corbis. Every match he grows on me. Really like his gimmick and stuff. Now he's becoming more of a good guy. Interesting to see how that turn goes. David Elgar Jimmy Jacobs. And before this match was on, when this was match announced, to be honest with Sweden, like, what's been match still show? I said Elgar Jacobs. <coughs> Jacobs is one of my favorite wrestlers. Last year he killed it. Had all, all kinds of show stealing matches. And he put him with Elgin, and they worked together in AEW and Ring of Honor. And they just match really well. The match is amazing. Elgin gets win. Then the show kind of went downhill, I think. These, because raw footage, you can't see what's going on anywhere else. So these matches really didn't get the things they deserve. Nobody came out to the contingent versus Matt and Anthony Stone. I really like Anthony Stone. Not a fan of the contingent, Matt, Matt Tremont. But the contingent gets win. Nothing to really see here. Nothing to really. My dud of the night. It, that's a good spot. There's a door spot, which I really enjoyed. Not really a dud. The, the dud, I think, is the next one. Change our mind on the fly. Then we had Michael Bennett showing up. Then the Crucible Change was on our commentary. And the Crucible Change was on commentary. I think it would have been better. So whenever Connor Ross on commentary, I think this would be a lot better. But on Raw footage, it just looked terrible. It just sounded terrible. The, you, you couldn't hear Michael Bennett's promo because the Crucible Change was just talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. 
And then that if he did against him, surprisingly low blow. This match is a dud. The both guys could have done a lot better. There's some brawling outside. The inside did some smooths. It was nothing to talk about. They had the medicine investigations versus the Red Dragon. Good tag wrestling match. Very good tag wrestling. Back and forth. Not as good as I thought it would be, but still a good match. Good show of face. Sure, tremendous. The other match shows you interfered. Was talking about Bill Carr. Then Stockade. Spear Dan Perry. So I guess Stockade and Sozio are going to face tremendous on next show, probably. Probably in the CZW show. And when Stockade speared me, he went, Roman Reigns. And then the commentary gear, like, oh, he's in a spear. I get it. <coughs> then we had a main event. Even Sugar Duncan was hyping it up. I love that Sugar Duncan was excited. Sugar Duncan made this match a commentary. He really made it feel like a, a main event. Whenever Sugar's on commentary, he's pretty good. One of my favorite commentators, him and Dickinson are my favorite commentators when we had the wrestler commentary. It's kind of hit me with wrestlers, as I say. This match was awesome. They didn't go over the, the, the big moves right away. They went a lot of mat wrestling at the beginning. Then went back, back and forth. One, mat, one, one negative I could take in this match is Chris Jericho kept hitting the elbows once. His finisher, one, two, kick out. Hit it again, one, two, kick out. It just like, it made the finisher not look as good. It kind of took away from that. It was a double knockout, which was awesome. That, 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 that spot was amazing. Great match. And Chris Hero talked, talked uh, put over Jake Dunn a little bit. Then he fucking said, I'm actually to Jake Dunn said, don't try to be like me. Try to be like yourself. Interesting. They want one more match. And when Hero's free, I think they'll have one more match. It really builds up and really makes you want to see another match. Maybe an hour and a match. I think this could stop Busey Gulak. If they do an hour match in Hero and Dunn, that could fucking top Busey and Edwards. I think Hero and Dunn could top that. It's hard to top Busek Edwards, but I think Hero Dunn match will do that. Or two after he falls. A, a stipulation match has to happen. That'll be good. I just can't wait to see what happens next. I love Beyond Wrestling because you can't wait to see what happens next. Everything builds to a next show. I like that. It's not too hard to follow. And it's, it's it's good. I really enjoyed Beyond Wrestling. Two thumbs up for the show. I hate giving star ratings, but I just enjoyed the show. I enjoyed it. I like watching it all good. So, and thank you Beyond Wrestling for actually watching my video last time. Thank you for saying I did the reviews. I did the reviews to help out all, all the companies to show people what's good and what's bad about our show and give my honest opinion. I love Beyond Wrestling. It's an awesome promotion. So keep up the good work and the raw footage. If there's any more raw footage people, then Ricardo I'll email me. I want to watch more raw footage. I'm sad that it's over. I have no more raw footage of Beyond Wrestling. But I have all the all killer episodes on YouTube. I can watch those if I want to. But, we'll see what's on some more videos soon. Hopefully, the Sales Energy shows come out and AIW comes out soon. I'll be at uh, PWG tomorrow night, Vistry Vortex 2. I'll have a review of that probably Sunday because I'll be on the road Saturday. And IBF will be there doing our interviews. So, Sunday and Monday, expect a shitload of videos. A shitload of videos. So, expect a lot of content. So, subscribe. Look forward to all the content. I'll be gone tomorrow and Saturday. But, Sunday, the Sean's will be back. So be sure to subscribe, share this video, and peace.